Happy Monday, everyone. This is Jeff from TheBoxman.com, where we change the way that you should watch TV. Over the next three, let's say to five minutes, I'm going to do this video over. It's actually how to open up any application of your choice on the Z11, whether that be the, the Formula Z11, uh, the Formula Z10, uh, and on up. Uh, the last video I did didn't actually finish, and I did check it. My apologies. So let's just step right into the video. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're looking at this on Rumble or any of our other platforms, thank you so much. If you enjoy the content that I bring, you can always subscribe, click the notification bell, and yada, yada, yada. But getting right into the video, one of the best things we love about formula devices is the personalization. So when you can personalize something, you kind of make it your own, whether it be your sneakers, your shirts, your haircuts, your nails. We love personalization and we also love automation. So hopefully if I don't screw something up, <laughs> you're gonna see how you can do the same thing on this media device. So looking at the media device, the page that you always land on is called a launcher page or a home page. The reason that is, is because most people, like right now, I can launch, let's say, the market just by clicking on the market. It launches that application to present to you, a consumer, what you're looking for or what you might be looking for. Uh, formula devices do that automatically as well by these steps here. From the launcher page, you want to go down the page until you see settings push to the right and you're going to see launcher settings you're going to go ahead and highlight that press ok the next step is to go down to the second one that says parental settings and press ok if you didn't know the default password for any formula device are four zeros zero 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 once you do that you want to click on the check mark on the bottom right and press ok then you're going to have uh, be presented with a couple of options. You can change your pin, which if you have adult kids and you have spicy content, you might want to change your pin. If you want to get rid of quick settings, you can definitely do that. That's really cool. Or you can lock system settings. So I just wanted to show you that from here, though, what we wanted to do is you could see the system settings there. I didn't know if you knew that you could get rid of those. We want to go down one more to start up app where it says none. Highlight that. Press OK. Now, this is where the rubber meets the road or it gets good. Mine is currently on none. So let's say I wanted to start a speed test or maybe I want to start my TV online too. So or maybe I want to start YouTube. So why don't we just do YouTube right here every time the device comes online? It's going to be YouTube. So you can see that it recognizes that it's going to be YouTube. And what I want to do to do this test is I'm going to go ahead and on your remote control, depending on which one you have at the top right hand corner of your remote. If you have a Bluetooth remote, there's just a power button. You can hold that down. All right. If you have a regular IR remote, it's STB. You can hold that down like that. And you're going to get three options. You're going to go to restart. OK, so let's go ahead and restart that. Looks like that the device is rebooting. And I guess you can pick the account that you want. And there you are. So having this open or an option, maybe you like that. Maybe you don't. I like it. It looks cool. It works good for those who use it. But can I be the one to give you a different perspective and you don't have to go with it? So let's go ahead and let me show you why i don't put it on there so if i go back and i head out i prefer having it on none and let me show you i'm going to go back down to launcher settings 
Press OK. Third one down, startup app. Press OK. Go back to none. Press OK. Press back. The reason why I have it on none, and I'll close the video out with this thought. And if you have one, I want to hear what you started up. What's your startup app on the formula devices? The reason I have it on none, every one of us, depending on where we live, have different internet, you know, providers and different connectivity speed. Uh, since I live in Southern California or on the West Coast, uh, some of our speeds are a little bit higher and the connectivity is a little bit faster. Let's say you live in a different place. You have it on automatic, like to go to the My TV Online 2, which is your live TV app. But then when you go to it, you get an error code because there's nothing there or no connectivity. Because I believe your connection speed from your internet service provider to your device is a bit slower. So you're better off, in my opinion, having it land on the launcher page first where you can check your internet, making sure I'm connected by looking down here or looking at the time in the right hand corner if you set that up. Or you could go to the help center to check to make sure you're connected as well. And you can see that my ethernet is 100 megabits per second. This way you're ensured that when you start the box, it's going to go right into what you want when you launch it and not the automated, uh, automatic way. Now, if that works for you doing the automatic way, I applaud you, continue to do it, but there's options on holding your position and uh, let, doing it on your own. All right, that concludes this video uh, or the redo. Thank you guys so much. There's a link in the description about the one and done device. I'll continue to uh, like want to resell this for those that are looking for a very inexpensive and different approach to streaming. It is amazing. Uh, and I can only say that you have to watch it and see the concept to see what we're talking about. With uh, over th 36 months of live TV entertainment, a recording option on the, the, on the device for under 190 bucks, that's, that's amazing and it's unlimited. So you'll see our concept in that. If you're interested in that or anything else, uh, don't hesitate to comment below on what you use or what app that you allow to open and just hit us up. We'd love to work with you. Have a good day.